taking a closer look at what's next in the debate on critical race theory in the classroom. The State Board of Education has moved to oppose the teaching of the theory in the classroom, but that doesn't quite mean that it's banned altogether. News Ed reporter Rob Durienzo breaks down what happens now. The action by the State Board, which passed 11 to 2, in effect denounces critical race theory in Georgia's public schools. We're now taking a closer look at the specific language of that resolution and what it means for public schools in your community. It's discussing something that no one has been able to point to an issue in a classroom. No one has been able to point to a specific standard and say, this is a problem. Lisa Morgan, president of an advocacy group for teachers in Georgia, argues the move by the State Board of Education wasn't based on anything being taught in public school classrooms. She worries that the result of this push to ban critical race theory will make it harder for teachers to do their jobs. The resolution very clearly seeks to censor educators from teaching about current events, incorporating current events in their instruction. And that is one of the things that we do all the time to keep our instruction alive for students, keep it relevant for students. Critical race theory, which examines how racial division intersects with many of the country's institutions, has become a hot button topic in recent weeks. Gwinnett School Board Chairman said many of the claims being made are irrelevant to lessons and plans he's seen. Some of them are not even germane to the curricular decisions that we already have on the books. It's important to note the resolution doesn't explicitly ban anything and nothing in it is binding for local school districts. The chairman of the State Board of Education said in a statement, quote, no action is required by school districts in response to the resolution. Currently, no resolution related proposed rule is up for consideration. He added that changes to the rules would require a committee discussion, then a 30-day period before the board votes on it. We followed up by asking if there was any specific instance of critical race theory being taught in a Georgia State classroom. He didn't respond. We're not prescribing people to believe a certain thing a certain way. Rather, we're stating that this is a theory that exists and we're giving them the ability to construct new thought and build on top of that. Board members said they wanted um, to teach the facts. Well, we have to teach all the facts, even those facts that aren't uncomfortable. This is certainly not the last we're going to be hearing of this debate in Georgia and throughout the country. Several groups opposed to this resolution say if any of these changes become official, it's going to wind up in court. The next State Board of Education meeting is scheduled for June 17th. In Atlanta, Rob DiRienzo, Fox 5 News.